Lisa Plantinos. And I'm Kurt Britannia. And, and this, this is the ANC. ANC. The Ateneo News Channel. And right now, we're talking oil power. 90% of the power plants around the world are oil-fired power plants. But what makes an oil power plant much more safer and reliable compared to other power plants? Let's find out. But first, here's Brian Hardeleza for the field report on oil extraction. Oil is extracted by a process known as oil drilling. An oil well is created. First, the land must be prepared for drilling. An access road must be built. Next, a steel pipe casing is placed in the oil well. Then an oil pump is placed. CO2 is pumped into the earth and oil comes out on the other end of the steel. Pipes. Back to you, Alisa. Thank you, Brian, for that knowledgeable insight. So, Kirk, that's how oil is extracted. Yes, that is how oil is extracted from the earth. Who knew? We'll be right back after this commercial. We never did find out how oil creates electricity, what lights up our homes, our schools, what lights up the world. I can't explain it, Kirk. But let's go to Patrick Lacerra on the power process. After oil is extracted and, def and refined, it is sent to the power plants through pipes and into the storage tank. At the same time, water is taken in and kept in another storage tank before sent to the heating chamber. Then, the oil is sent to the combustion chamber where it is heated. The heat produced helps boil the water until it produces steam. The steam then moves the turbine. The more steam it produces, the faster the turbine moves. The turbine is connected to the generator which produces electricity via the spinning turbine. The electricity is then sent to a step-up step -up transformer before being distributed. Back to you, Kurt. Interesting. Very interesting. Now we know how oil produces electricity. Well, now we know that oil is functional, but is it safe? How safe is it exactly? Here's Cristel Tulite on the Environmental Field Report. Oil is considered to be safer compared to other power plants because oil emits 85% less carbon dioxide compared to coal. Oil is also less space consuming. This saves more forests from being cleared, more field spaces from being polluted. And finally, 
oil can be easily filtered, especially in water. Very fine filters are used, separating the oil from water. It also helps because oil is less dense compared to water, making the filtration process easier. According to recent charts, oil power plants dominate the power corporation of the United States by 37%, followed by coal power plants that are 25%, 23% natural gas, 6% nuclear, 4% biomass, 3% hydro, 0.5% solar, 0.3% wind, 0.2% geothermal, 0.2% biofuels, and 0.04% solar photovoltaic. Well, isn't that nice? Besides electricity, oil can be used for making other things, like the making of gasoline. Oil is refined by heating it at different temperatures in order to create byproducts such as fuel for ships and factories, lubricants, petrol, liquefied petroleum gas, and rubbing alcohol. Diesel fuel, jet fuel, batteries, plastic, medicines, and rubber. Here we have a simple chart on the process of oil refinement or otherwise known as oil distillation. First, crude oil is sent to the furnace where it is heated at different temperatures. At 400 degrees Celsius, lubricating oil, paraffin wax, and asphalt are created. At 370 degrees Celsius, we have fuel oil. 300 degrees Celsius, we have diesel oil. At 200 degrees Celsius, we have kerosene and gasoline or petrol at 150 degrees Celsius and evaporated to gas at 20 degrees Celsius. Well, that's all for today. Goodbye and stay tuned for more. Once again, I'm Elisa Plantinas. And I'm Kurt Betania. And, and you're, you're watching, watching the AMC, the Academia News Channel. In, in omnibus, omnibus Amare et Servire. Et servire.